can see how that can happen. It's, you know, I but understand. Isn't part of being an adult, and you have a two-year-old child, two-year-old so, boy. Yeah, let me just, let me just, sorry. Okay. I, I just buddy day to day. We're together all the time, first of all. Second thing, how can you fake that 24 hours a day with somebody, sleeping with somebody, waking up with somebody, having the to... The dumbest thing I've ever He's running around the house, I'm running around the house, you were in our house, we have a normal house, we have a nanny, we have a maid, and we walk around, and he's either in the studio, I'm in the kitchen, we're running around like uh, normal, I know it's hard to believe people. You go shopping together, you... We go shopping, we go out to dinner, we argue, sometimes. And about what, <laughs> may I say? <laughs> We no, also heard a report that maybe you were planning to adopt the children. The Heartland, covering one of the big of the gates and into Jackson's 2,800-acre Neverland Ranch. How's Mary? Great. How's yours? Pretty good. Can you just go back to the place? It's going to cost you a Great. Okay. We take pictures yeah. One is action anesthetic and the other is a tranquilizer. So let's yeah. <laughs> thylatamine yeah. is the anesthetic yeah. and zolazepam is the, the tranquilizer. You know, um, you're really misunderstood thing and I have a very soft sort of help thing with people and I became friends with him and, and then at that point it was sort of a relationship of like I need to talk and, and I was sort of like, Wow, me and you know, that sort of thing happened. Well, I um, interviewed him. I actually met him right before you interviewed him. Really? That interview, yeah. Okay. You, you said you loved him. Yes. Do you think he loved you? Wow. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> um, God, it's hard for me to, to answer that question. I don't know um, the answer to that. To Do you, you think that he loved you as much as he could? Yes. That, yes. As much as he was capable of loving somebody um, in all that, yes. Since they returned to the United States, the reclusive couple has spent most of their time in New York. The wacky pair was spotted here at FAO Schwartz, Lisa Marie pushing a disguised Michael in a wheelchair. In her official announcement to the media yesterday, Lisa Marie says she is very much in love and I dedicate my life to being his wife. We both look forward to raising a family together. I think it's great. They're very happy. And uh, I think everybody's happy. They're, they're great people. You must have kept secret for a long time. I've known the secret for a long time, for a very long time. How did you... She desperately wanted to get back into his life. He loved her very deeply, but he really wanted to be a father. And he does say that Lisa Marie called him and said, let's rethink this and, and I'm ready to have children. But by that time, he says, 
that his heart had closed. I have all these letters, she said. I'll give you nine children. I'll do whatever you want. Now, brace yourselves for a real shock. In the past month, Lisa's been trying to go back to Michael. They've been on the phone constantly, and all of this is pretty much a slap in her face. Celebrity journalist Flo Anthony says Lisa Marie still feels burn in love for Jackson and claims their breakup was not what it seemed. That he flirted with her and she flirted with him. They got to know each other. And there is a wonderful side to Michael, which is warm and engaging and loving and attentive. And she fell in love with him.